Totally Words is our newest computer program. It contains 100 word puzzles and over 120 mystery pictures. There are 830 unique words used over 12,000 times. There are 360 unique definitions and clues. Totally Words will assist children by reading words that are rolled over. Totally Words also keeps track and adjusts according to a child's progress. Now let's go right to the program. Totally Words. Totally Words has the ability to keep track of five individuals. And for here, what we're going to do is click on uh, Ann Smith. And you can see that she has not done any puzzles yet. But every time she does a puzzle, and even if it's the same puzzle uh, over, we are going to increment these number of puzzles done. As you can see, the arrow is very large on the screen. Good visual feedback. Also, uh, a good percentage of the buttons that we roll over actually read that button to your child. Next puzzle. Change user. We're going to go directly to next puzzle. Next puzzle. And there are two options. We can first review the words by doing guess the word game, or we can go directly to puzzle, which is what we're going to do. Puzzle. Bird, cow, dog, fingers, hay, horse, hug, key, kick, leaf, mouth, nose, pot, quack, roof, slide, up, vacuum, window, yellow. As you can see, as each word is displayed, we say that word. So a child can make the one-to-one -one connection with your hearing and seeing. Also, if you cannot read the clue, well, Totally Words allows will help you because when you roll over the word, it will say what it is. When you put your arms around someone. So for a child that's learning to read, this is a great way to help them out learn new words. Now, as we roll over the words in the actual puzzle, they're not set at this time. But if you need some extra help, extra click, help, we click on the extra help button. And now when we roll over the words, yellow, window, roof, mouth. So you can see that we again help the child learn to read uh, learn to read new words. If we click on the wrong word, let's see what happens. Mouth. The word is said and then it's grayed out. Now we'll click on the right Hug. one. And that word and that block disappear. And now we get to see a portion of a picture, which as I said earlier, there will always be a new picture for a child every time they come into this program. Even if they're doing the same puzzle uh, a number of times, there's always going to be a new picture. So now let's go through this program and I'm going to quickly go through so you can see the actual picture. Also, oh, before we do that, I wanted to show you this. If you click on Read to Me, if you wanted uh, the program to read the whole sentence, we can do that. Read to me. We have five of these on our hand. So we'll click through that. Now I'm going to go through this very quickly. Some of these clues can be very challenging, and that's why the computer program will actually keep track of how your child's doing. If they get uh, better than 85% of these on the first try, then it's going to bring in four new words. If not, it's going to keep them on the same four, uh, 20 words, but again, there will always be a new picture at the end. Horse. Oops.
and as you can see the whole screen is filled with the picture now there were 20 words and 20 clues and now we can see that one puzzle has been done also I want to show you something else here now um, if we go to the button puzzles I've done select a different puzzle puzzles I've done we see that we get a check mark for that number one puzzle and it's done one time this screen gives you feedback and it'll let you know how your child's doing also it helps you customize the learning process for your child because some children will need more uh, repetition with the same words especially at the beginning stage as I said the computer program keeps track of how they're doing but at the beginning stage we really see parents or teachers really helping a child get used uh, get get these first 20 words done once they get these first 20 words and clues under their belt then the program pretty much can start taking over from there so what I would suggest parents to do is to first go in on this number one puzzle which can come directly to this screen right here and click on it now we're gonna use that same 20 words and if a child needs extra help we can come down to this game right here guess the word now when we click on this this is something you and your child can do together as you can see we show just the sentence or the clue on the screen again we can roll over the word if we don't know what it is use this to open a lock and what I would do if I was working with a child I would say oh gee you know let's see use this to open a lock I repeat the sentence again to help uh, your child become familiar with these words say so use this to open a lock and you know you can almost really go along with them you don't have to always show that you have the answer and say hey, gee I wonder what that is you know um, let's take a look and find out use this to open a lock let's find out key oh it's a key a key can open a lock Oh, we got another clue now. An animal that. Well, I don't know what this word is. Let's roll over it. Gives us milk. Oh, an animal that gives us milk. Gee, I wonder what that is, you know, and maybe your child might know what that is. You say, oh, cow, that's great. Let's find out if that's what that is. An animal that gives us milk now I just clicked on the read to me button so just again to show you that it will read the sentence but again if you want to show what that word is cow ah you're right it was a cow so you can go through all 20 of these sentences clues and the words and make this a, a little game this is something where we see a parent or a teacher working with a child to become familiar with these first 20 words and clues. Then after that, they can go directly to the puzzle Bird, game. Bird, cow, dog. Again, we this. click on that, and it skips over and actually goes to the... Uh, uh, we can skip button, and it will not say all the words on the screen. Uh, now, uh, because the last time we came in, uh, if this was the first time, if we had clicked the next game our next puzzle uh, it would have taken us to four new words uh, there would be 16 from the previous puzzle and then four new ones but we clicked on the number one puzzle again going back to uh, start over I'm gonna go here Pup this is where you really want to get to when you're first introducing this to your child this is very important when you download this program uh, make sure you introduce the program correctly to your child. Lots of children are going to need that extra help at the beginning for the first few puzzles and I would go through this same puzzle repeatedly. Now just to show you um, if we go back over Pup and we change the user let's look at here how Susan has been doing. Now she's got 20 puzzles done. Pup let's see she did the first puzzle nine times and I'll that was probably with you know uh, the very majority of those are going to be with her uh, mother or father or teacher helping her out to become familiar with these 20 words then uh, in the second puzzle uh, she's done that four times now after a while once you see that your child's getting better at this you eventually can start start over 
clicking on the next puzzle and the computer program next puzzle will automatically say okay let's see the last puzzle you did you did you get it 85 percent of it right if you did we're gonna bring you in four new words So that's the great thing about this program there's a lot you know there's definitely gonna be some time on your part to help your uh, required to help your child become inter to these new words and become familiar with them but we see as as time goes on the goal is that the child really uses this program by themselves and then you can Puzzles keep track I've done and see see how they're doing a different pup. again looking at uh, Susan here we can see that she's already on to puzzle number seven and so uh, each time again as we're coming in there's gonna be four new words with each one of these okay now, when we get to um, level two, which is uh, puzzle 51, we're going to increase the uh, difficulty a little bit to show you. P puzzle, bike, bird, you. There are not 20 words in the puzzle, but there are 28. Now, again, to help your child with this introductory program, these first 28 uh, words in the first um, 20 puzzles or so are going to be the same uh, words that were in the first 50 puzzles. So we want to make this very success oriented. Okay, we want to not necessarily just throw 28 new words. What we're going to do is use some of the reference of what they've learned in the 20 word puzzles. Now the interesting thing is 100 puzzles with three uh, just over 360 key words in the puzzles here but when you look at that as to um, with all the words that are taught in the sentences and the clues if you go through all 100 puzzles just one time that will be over 12,000 words that a child will be exposed to they'll be able to see these words and hear what they what they sound like so there is a lot of learning going on in this process. It's not just 360 words. It's um, really 830 unique words used over 12,000 times. Now, what we'll be doing from here is this is like an introductory program. And then from here, we'll uh, be introducing uh, more puzzles. There will be anywhere from 36 or even 50 words in a puzzle but here's this is more or less the introduction again it's very important that you introduce this program to your child and the key is learning this button right here puzzles I've done or select a different puzzle select a different puzzle this is where you really want to go at the beginning when you use this with your child because when you go here you can select that first puzzle over and over and over again. Help your child out so that they're very success oriented. And another way that I want to show how you can do that, we'll click on that number one puzzle again. Puzzle. Again, you could go through the guess the word game with your child one time. You know, if they like doing that, that's a great way to help to introduce them again. But puzzle. Go right to the puzzle. Cop. And we'll skip through that and what I would do at this beginning, what we've learned from a lot of children that's actually, this may be too many words on the screen for them at the beginning when you say, use this to open a lock. Okay, it just might be too much. And so what you need to do, and I should say this is your way of introducing this to your child, is isolate it down to two or three words like, oh, gee, what do you think? Uh, use this to open a lock. Would that be uh, a dog? Uh, would that be a nose or would that be a key? Give those choices to your child. And you, you need to repeat the clue over and over again. Say, use this to open a lock. Would that be a dog, uh, a, a nose, or a key? What would you? Which one of those would you use to open a lock? Oh, that'd be a key. Okay. Um, we got another clue, and this is where. Okay, if they don't know how to read it, remember we can have fun with them rolling over the words. This is where you smile and eat. Important for you to repeat it again. Say, this is where you smile and eat. And then you can say, gee, what would that be? Do you think that would be a nose, uh, a mouth, or roof? This is where you smile and eat. 
that's you know, that's a difficult clue. So that's why you need to help also isolate it down at the beginning and say, well, okay, so what is that? A nose, a mouth, or a roof? And, and say, oh, okay, let's try it. You know, you think it's a nose? Let's try it. Nose. Nope, that's not it. So let's see, maybe it's a mouth or roof. Uh, this is where you smile and eat. Oh, mouth. Okay, let's click on that. So that's very important. Help your child with uh, being introduced to this program. You can use in this downloadable program, you can use the first two pro, uh, puzzles over and over and over again, you know, to really help your child. Once, um, you know, they're doing that, uh, and you can say, okay, now it's time to actually purchase the program. You can contact us through our, our website, and we can help you get the, the full 100-word uh, puzzle program. And if you have any questions, you can also contact us, and uh, we, we can discuss what might be appropriate for your child.